Hi, this is my entry for the 555 design contest and I'm going to show you how you can use a 555 to drive a small motor. You can do that because it has 200 milliamps current capability which is enough to drive a small motor such as this one coming from a servo. Certain configuration allows you to use a 555 without any other external components as an inverting buffer and if you put two of those together like you can find on a 556 You've got yourself an edge bridge that requires no other external components and can operate up to 15 volts. Sometimes you may want to drive this bridge from a microcontroller such as this one that operates at a lower voltage, maybe 5 or 3.3 volts. Adding just one single thinner diode beside the 556, you got yourself an edge bridge that can in operate being controlled by the low voltage signals coming from the mo this microcontroller. I've got a 12 volt power supply here which powers the H-bridge board and the microcontroller board and now if we check the voltages I've got the microcontroller supply here which is 3.3 volts I've got the H-bridge supply here which is about 12 volts and if we check the control voltage here at the thinner diode we can see it's 2.5 volts as we need it a voltage lower than the microcontroller's power supply I've connected the oscilloscope probes to the inputs of the H bridge and I'm using the microcontroller to generate a logic signal and the PVM signal which allows me to control the motor in both directions and to control its speed. As you can see by varying the potentiometer I'm generating a logic high or low level at the bottom of the screen and the PVM signal at the top of the screen. These two signals when, when applied to a motor will generate voltages in different polarities and with a different duty cycle which allows the motor to run in both directions and at varying speeds. As you can see I'm using 2 volts per division as an amplitude so you can guess that both signals are about 3.3 volts. I've connected the output of the H bridge to the oscilloscopes and I'm going to show you what the signals look like. On the top and the bottom I have the actual signals coming out of the H bridge and I've added the difference in the middle. You can see that if I vary the potentiometer I can obtain either a negative voltage with a variable duty cycle or a positive voltage with a variable duty cycle. The scale is now 10 volts per division and as you may see I have slightly larger than one division so maybe it's about 11 volts in amplitude which is what it is expected when we are using a 12 volt power supply. I've connected the motor and it's time to see it working. As you can see it's starting and I can control its speed and the other way around. And the waveforms are noisier as we might expect having a motor and there's also some amplitude dropping because we have a load. So that's one way of making an edge bridge for your small motor, use a 556 or maybe two 555s and their thinner diodes and you can find these at any electronic store and they are cheap.